That's correct, Kristen. The Merrimack County attorney telling me this is the first time that they've prosecuted someone for sale of a controlled drug with death resulting, adding that this case is a dismal testament to the drug crisis and the destruction of human lives. 30-year-old Benjamin Bundy entered the courtroom and pled guilty to charges that resulted in the deaths of two people. Bundy admitting they sold heroin to Matthew Nichols back in December of 2014. Nichols was found in a Concord apartment from an apparent overdose. Efforts to revive him failed. Bundy also admitted aiding in the suicide of his on-again, off-again girlfriend, Jennifer Azara, this past January. As a result of his plea bargain, Bundy was sentenced to 15 years to life. The county attorney saying that the death of 28-year-old Nichols and 31-year-old Azara demand a significant sentence. Both died as a result of the use of narcotic drugs, which Mr. Bundy was instrumental in supplying. Mr. Bundy was aware of their weaknesses for illegal substances and other vulnerabilities and still supplied the drugs. Mr. Bundy was aware of Matthew Nichols' death and continued to sell drugs. The Merrimack County attorney adding that Bundy, through his sale of drugs, also presents a danger to the public, and that's why a significant sentence is important. Now, at least one member of the victim's family spoke at today's sentencing hearing, which wrapped up just minutes ago. We will hear from them beginning at News 9 at 5. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.